Got a good walleye on right now. Just got out on the lake. Got a great walleye chop going this morning. Pulled up to a little piece of uh, structure. And uh, yeah, this is a good eye. Nice walleye. Nice walleye. Not a giant, but a good one. Just a good, solid White River Air walleye. You know, and to catch these walleyes, I mean, that's pretty much it right there. Quarter ounce jig, soft plastics. Let me get this guy back in the water here. Get him back in. Just like I said, quarter ounce jig heads. We like bright, bright colors. I usually always run an orange or a bright red and then a three inch grub tail. Our go-to color is white. Um, chartreuse works well. Uh, any type of bright color. And yum, gulp, power bait, doesn't seem to make a difference. Um, but we haven't used any live bait for years and years. Just the soft plastics. Let's get back in the water. Another nice walleye. We've been out here for about 45 minutes to an hour. This is probably our 10th, uh, 15th fish. Just good eaters. Just good, good eaters. All right, when you come up here, find the uh, the sunken islands or the uh, the rock piles and. Uh, Get your drift going so you're drifting right down the edge so you can see the lightness of the shallow water to the darkness. You get your jig bouncing right down that and they'll be there. If they're going to bite, that's where they're going to be. That's where this one was. This is a better eye rod. Yeah, it's probably, what, 1820? Yeah, close. Yeah. You don't want to quit fighting, I know that. He's trying to dig down. Anyways, we got Jeffy with another one. Crushing the eyes. About put my boat partner in the water so no time this one. I think I'm bass fishing. Another little eater. Good eater. Good eater. What do you got, Jeff? Another walleye on. Yeah, I think it's Smoking a good eye. Smoking them right now. I think it's a nice eye. <laughs> You're on. Doubled up. Doubled up, high. man. Couple eater eyes right there. Doubled up. It's getting silly again. We're doubled up once again. Oh, this is a better one. Another couple nice been, eyes. We've been doubled up in the last 20 minutes. We've been doubled up probably 15 times in the last 20 minutes. Get a shot of that. That one's that's, a good that's a nice one. Check it out. Double decker. Another double. Run a little bit bigger. <laughs> Jeff and I boated around 50 walleyes this particular morning in about three hours of fishing, which when the weather conditions are right, is fairly typical when fishing with White River Air. But it was later that evening when Jeff hooked into a really nice walleye. And we got a big eye. Check it out, D. Look at that eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that eye. Oh, he's a nice one. He's a beauty. What is that? What? 30. Wow. 30 plus. Come on, baby. You can do her. White River Air. What do you think of that, Dan? Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! Wow, Jeff. That's a nice walleye. Good job, man. Also, White River Air asks that everyone please release all of the larger fish. This will ensure that these great fisheries remain healthy for generations to come. Most of our walleye fishing takes place in less than 10 feet of water. And sometimes on calm, overcast days, 
or early in the morning, you can actually see the schools of walleyes swimming in shallow bays. You can just cast your jig out, bring it through the school, and watch the walleyes follow it in and strike. Tom and I had this happen to us on the second morning of our trip this year. Okay, here's what we got going on here. We're actually sight fishing walleyes in this weed bed. We're watching them follow the jig in, and just we're seeing three or four of them right behind her jig, and we're just sticking them out of there. Go for it, Tommy G. See him sniffing it? Oh, yeah. oh, he's right. There's two of them. You got him! <laughs> sight! We are sight fishing walleyes right now. <laughs> oh, my. Got him. Nice job, Tommy G. <laughs> sight fishing walleyes, big guy. <laughs> oh, there you go. There's, Catch and release. There's many more. <laughs> Catch and release. <laughs> nice job, Tommy. Yeah, <laughs> Tell me what's happening here, dude. What's, what oh, are we hey, doing? There's a school of fish right in here. We can see them. We're just dropping it right. Oh, big, huge fish right there, dude. Another big one? Oh, yeah. He's bigger than this one. He just come right by. Nice eye. Fish on. Fish on. Nice Fish on. job, dude. Right on cue. Right on cue. Yeah, nice little eye. Oh, missed him. He's coming back. He'll come back. There he is. White River Air rocks. <laughs> Fish on. <laughs> There we go, boys. <laughs> Tuna boating them, baby. Tuna boating them. We caught probably 40 or 50 fish in just a couple hours in this shallow, weedy bay. They didn't run huge, maybe 18 inches on average, but man, were they a ton of fun to catch. Tom, however, did end up catching a big walleye while fishing with Jeff the following day. Tommy's hooked up. Tommy's hooked up with a dead walleye. Oh, look at that one. Yeah. Tommy G, good job. All right. Yeah, baby. Yeah, Tom. Woo. Nice one. Dude. Dude. Oh, my. Oh. Wow, Tom, that is definitely a good walleye right there. Nice job, man. While Tom and Jeff were fishing together, I had the opportunity to fish with Tom's son, Garrett, and my nephew, Spencer. And what a blast I had watching these two great kids boat fish after fish after fish. So in this final segment, I'd like to show you a few of the 50 or so fish that we caught on the third afternoon of our trip. Nice job, Garrett. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Bring him up, big guy. Bring him up, big guy. Woo! Nice job. Look over here, guys. Nice job, man. What's that, big guy? It's a big walleye. Are you sure? Nice yeah. walleye. Nice walleye. Nice walleye. Fighting pretty good. Heck yeah, it's like jerking to the bottom. Here it is. Woo! <laughs> Got a fight in here. Get it? Yeah. 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 Oh, That's a beauty. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, gee. Jerry, guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. We just had a double on. Just got a double on. Gary gets this monster walleye. Oh, yeah. We're just crushing these walleyes out here. <laughs> Nice job, big Fire. guy. Woo. Nice. Take it both. Nice one. Woo. Holy smokes. Got a little double going. This is a little fighter. Oh, wow. Do we get a triple? 
Oh, I got, got one. Triple. We got a triple. You got one on Spence? Hand me the camera. Hand me the camera. Oh, yeah. We got a triple going here. Oh, yeah. Whoo, baby. What do we got, guys? Oh, triple. triple. That's three triple on wall right wall. now. Three walleyes. Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is triple! What a great time I had fishing with the kids that morning. And watching them get so fired up about catching nice walleyes was truly special. And you know, when you're jigging for walleyes, you actually have an excellent opportunity of catching big northern pike as well. I can't tell you how many times we've been walleye fishing and had large northerns come up and take our jig. And if you take your time and you fight them and you get them hooked just right, you have no problem landing large northern pike on six or eight pound test. Nice, nice pike. Let's get them back in the water. Well, there you go, guys. That's what you can expect when you book a trip with White River Air to go walleye fishing. But before I leave, I'd like to say that obviously weather conditions play a huge role on how well the walleyes bite. If you're fishing post-cold front, or you're fishing on a 90 degree day and the water's perfectly flat, then you're going to have to work a little harder for your walleyes. But if the conditions are stable and you've got a nice walleye chop on the water, you're going to boat a ton of fish. In closing, I'd love to say, I'll see you on the water. But I won't see you on the water because when you fish with White River Air, you're going to have the lake all to yourself. So good luck fishing and have a great time.